Welcome to this Arnold Clifford tutorial for modern daily knitting on the spaced long tail cast on. This tutorial is part of a series to accompany the patterns in MDK field guide number 19, Marls. All of the patterns in this field guide have been designed by the amazing Cecilia Campacchiaro. A marl is when you hold two or more strands of yarn together and it can give you some really beautiful colour techniques. So here I've done a micro swatch and you'll find out all about that in field guide number 19 um, using two quite high contrast colours so that you can really see the marl effect. The spaced long tail cast on method is going to be really useful for these marled patterns because it's going to ensure that your edges are stretchy enough. If you cast on with the normal long tail method you might find you don't have enough elasticity and that's particularly common when you're holding more than one yarn together. As with a normal long tail cast on you're going to need to estimate roughly how much of a tail you need to leave and here's a quick method to help you with that estimation process. So I'm holding both of my ends of yarn around the needle tip and I'm just going to wind the yarn around my needle tip with the, roughly the same tension as I'll use for the stitches 10 times. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to pinch the ends and unravel it. And that is enough yarn for 10 stitches. And I can now use that to multiply up for however many I need. So if I'm casting on 120, I'll need 12 times that length. And I'll always leave a bit extra just in case. But for today, I think 10 stitches will do us nicely to demonstrate the technique. So I'll use that. And that just means I'm going to hold that pinch here and drop the tail. I'm now arranged here with the tail towards me and the working yarn going towards the balls of yarn behind. And my first job is to make a slip knot at that point where I'd pinch the yarn to work out how long my tail is. And I do that by wrapping the yarns together over my fingers, doing a cross at the front of my finger, and then putting my needle tip under the first yarn and scooping the second yarn through and tightening that up. I now have my slip knot on my needle so I can start my spaced long tail cast on. My slip knot is on my needle and I've got the tails towards me and the yarns attached to the balls going away from me. And we call the yarns attached to the balls the working yarn and these here are the tails. Use your right hand to hold the knitting needle and put your index finger or thumb over the slip knot so that you're preventing stitches from getting too close to each other. So you hold, hold the needle with your right hand like that and then your left hand you're going to use your thumb and your index finger to go between the working yarn and the tail. You'll then use your remaining fingers on your left hand to grasp the working yarn and the tail. And you can now position yourself in the slingshot or Y base position for this cast on. So the needle is the handle of the slingshot or the stem of the Y and the yarn over the thumb and the index finger, they make the arms of the slingshot, the arms of the Y. Move your needle across to the left and in doing so you'll see that you create a loop on your thumb. You're going to bring your needle tip up inside that loop as if you were going parallel with your thumb and you now bring your needle tip over the working yarn on your index finger and you're going to go over it and scoop it through the loop on your thumb and you can now drop the loop off your thumb. At this point you're going to gently tighten the stitch that you've just formed keeping your index finger of your right hand from get, letting the stitches get too close together. 
you then move your index finger in front of the new stitch and return to the base slingshot position. Talk you through that again. So move the needle to the right to make the loop. Bring the needle tip up through the loop on your thumb, over the working yarn on your index finger and scoop that working yarn through the loop on your thumb. Drop the loop off your thumb and then gently tighten it so that you've got a nice gap between the stitch you've just made and the stitch that was already on the needle. Then you move your index finger along again so that it's in front of the new stitch. Let's go a little faster now. Up through the loop, scoop the yarn, bring it down and then gently tighten so that you've got a nice consistent set of gaps between those stitches. Those spaces are what make it the space to cast on. And once you've got the hang of it, you can get some speed going, but just take really good care to make sure that you are keeping nice gaps between the stitches. Four, six, eight, nine, and our tenth stitch. There we go. Those are our spaced cast on stitches that will make the cast on edge of this project more elastic. I hope that tutorial has given you confidence in working a spaced long tail cast on. This method is perfect for any situation where you need a bit of extra stretch and it's the recommended cast on method for the projects in Modern Daily Knitting's field guide number 19, Marls. We have lots more tutorials, hints and tips over on our website. Click the link up here to visit and explore. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you're sure not to miss our next video tutorial using the button down here. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye bye.